Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And y'all probably saying, Troy, you just need to quit YouTube right now. You just need to quit. You don't like nothing, nothing, nothing. Why am I even watching this video? Look, y'all, like I said, I don't troll. I tell it, it, it like it is. I'm about to go to the store real quick. That's why I'm looking like, you know. But I had to do this quick video before I left. Far Cry 3 is not all it's meant to be. And another thing I want to make I want to make clear. Most of the games that I get a first impression for and do a video, when I do my other video, I beat it and this is it, it never changes. Never changes. The closest thing like Look at all my videos when I did Dragon's Dogma, Darksiders 2, when I did Hitman Absolution, Assassin's Creed 3. When I do videos, my first video that says, oh, it ain't that good, and I do my next video, it never changes. Never changes. But I do give credit when credit is due. But like I said, all the time, I haven't beat it yet. But this is what I'm walking away with. This is my first impression. It ain't going to change. So Far Cry 3, okay? Let's get into something I'm really not liking about today's games. Ubisoft is never getting it right. Never getting it right. There is nothing Ubisoft did so far from Ghost Recon to Assassin's Creed 3, now Far Cry 3. They ain't doing nothing right. Nothing. Far Cry 3, I thought was going to be really good. But you know what game Far Cry 3 reminds me of? Just Cause 2. Now, two different perspectives, I know. You're on this island, but this is what, 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 what just killed it for me. The whole kidnapping story bit. That is getting old. Now, you're this guy, Joshua, or whatever, whatever his name is. I can't remember his name. So, you're on this island. Apparently, you skydive on an island that was remote, wasn't on a map or something. Y'all come across these pirates. It was you, your brother, your younger brother, and, and your friends. So all of a sudden, you're in this cage with your brother. Your brother and you escape. Your brother gets shot in the neck, and all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. So you got to go and get all your friends, your girl, whatever, and uh, your other brother. Th this whole this whole kidnapping bit gets old. Far Cry 3 isn't offering nothing we haven't seen before. We haven't played before. I love the environment. I like the gritty story until I found out it's just pretty much about the kidnapping. Um, the guy right here is ruthless. He's ruthless. He's like a joker or something. Ruthless. The gameplay is not something isn't something you haven't seen before. It, it, it hasn't something you haven't seen. Like you can tell that this game this game is pretty short just because you got a lot of side missions. You got you can do a lot of stuff from hunting. You can do racing. You can do pretty much the side missions in Just Cause Two. Just Cause Two wasn't a sixty dollar game. I bought this for like 20 bucks. And let me tell you, this is some of the best action right here. Mindless action. The story was terrible. The acting was terrible. It was, it was like mediocre, but I will still play this game for the money I paid for it. But this right here ain't worth no $60, y'all. It ain't worth $60. And it was just pretty much it. And y'all may be like, now this is how confident I am that this game will not change. I played this game for four hours. I no, I played it for at least three hours. At least three hours. I played two hours of the campaign. Ugh, I wanted it to change so bad. And I played an hour of the multiplayer. Now, before I get to the multiplayer, this is just what pretty much I kept coming across. You can go to, now this is how dumb the game is, right? You're, you're your character. The guy tells you to open up your map, a map of the island. But when you go into your menu, the menu has maps blocked out. 
parts of the map blocked out. You have to go to these towers and hack, not hack it, but there's these radar jammers that you have to disable in order for you to unlock the rest of the map. Come on. What, what game? What, I mean, GTA don't even do that, do they? No, they just block it off. But to say, oh, you got to go to these towers and when you... Uh, you know, do the radar jammer and unlocks a part of the map so you can see the map and you can get a free gun and all this other stuff. This game offers a lot of side stuff. You can race, you can do a little vigilante mode, go after people or wanted posters. You can go hunting for pelts to sell. Uh, you can do a lot of side mission type stuff. And it's a clear sign that this game is not going to give up. And what time? Oh, that's only six minutes. Great. So let's get into multiplayer. Multiplayer is something you haven't seen either. It has its perks. It has a Call of Duty feel to it. But the animations are so clunky. Like, it has great sound effects. Don't get me wrong. Great sound effects. Great explosions. you think I would be all over this game. But unfortunately, I'm not. It just feels like the hit detection is off. There's no dedicated servers. So you're going to get the host migration thing. And it feels as though, like... I can have an AK-47, a dude across the map can have a SMG, so how come he's hitting me when he has a short range weapon and I have a long range weapon? The aiming doesn't feel, it just feels off, the aiming feels off. Y'all may say, oh, Troy, you just suck, whatever, blah, 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 but I doubt it's me. It, it, it's clunky, and the whole you play account thing, you got to set up a you play account. So it does come with a code to unlock the whole multiplayer. But that, that's the only benefit that Ubisoft has is that whole trial period. There's no two day trial period like EA. But if you coming from Medal of Honor, uh, Warfighter, if you're coming from Call of Duty or BF3, this thing is one of the most clunkiest things I have ever seen. It's just clunky. Like the running is clunky. The aiming is clunky. Some people can say, oh, Troy, you suck, you suck, you suck. Okay, well, I, I guess I suck then. But this is not worth $60. It's not worth $60. You've seen it. You've done this game before. You've played this game before. This game is not going to give up. But I'm going to do my, you know, I'm going to do my beat it because I'm going to get the all end game cinemas. Because I like doing the, the end game cinemas now. People are liking the Dark Siders 2 uh, all movie I did, um, you know, and a lollipop chainsaw. But there you go. Um, I thought it was going to be good, but like I said uh, before, you can play a game for a few hours and know where it's going. It's rare. Tell me what y'all think, community. Is that possible? Can, do you, when you have your first impression, does it rarely change? Does it rarely, rarely, rarely change? Rarely changes. There, there's only one game that really changed. I can go old school. Let me show y'all the game. Hold up. You remember that? 64, Body Harvest. This game started off slow, but this is the only game I can think of that that it didn't pick up by the first board, but the second board made up for all the other boards and all the other boards after that. This is the only game, Body Harvest. Do y'all know this game, Body Harvest? Some of the best explosions, the aliens and everything. This is the only game I can remember that, that really picked up after the first level. The only game. So there you go, y'all. There you go. I'm going to beat this game, like I said. I'm going to beat it, come back with my second opinion. But this is my first opinion. I should have had this up sooner, but I'm trying to get back on track. Um, just just things been off lately, but I'm getting my money right. I'm getting, you know, I'm trying to get back on a good, good diet plan, I'm trying to get back working out, but I've been studying and stuff. But it's all good, y'all. But let me know, community, what are y'all thinking of Far Cry 3 right now after you played it? Um, is it something that I'm getting wrong, getting right? Just let me know in the comments section. I know y'all would. This is no trolling whatsoever. I'm just going off facts. Just going off facts. I'm just going off facts. All right, well, there you go. There you have it. If you like what you saw today, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a lot. And, um... Uh,
that. That's pretty much it. And uh, there go all my contact information. See you later. Thanks a lot.